Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to Eclectic Duality. My name is Alyssa, and today we're doing a special reading just for you. For those of you who are returning to my channel, welcome back, my loves. And if you are new to my channel, join the family and subscribe down below. It really helps me out a lot. But as usual, keep in mind that energy is fluid, time is an illusion, roles can be reversed, and this may not be your story. And that's okay. There's so many amazing readers out there. One of them will resonate with you. And if you don't like the story that I tell in this reading, change the outcome. It is that simple. All right, Aquarius, let's get it. So when I tapped into your energy in the meditative session, I got two stories, okay? Well, not really stories, but feelings. So the first thing is all of a sudden my mind was completely flooded with the idea of the afterlife, flooded with the idea of life's kind of short nature, short-lived nature, um, no pun intended. And there was definitely this, this pit in the stomach, this fear attached to that, fear of the unknown. It was intense. I wasn't expecting it, Aquarius. It's definitely, I, I just got the image of you really wondering what there is after. And not only that, but wondering what's beyond our universe, our pretty much as far as we've gone in our exploration, what's beyond that? You know, like what, how far does this dimension stretch? You know, what is possible, what is not? How much has science yet to discover in terms of what's already here? You know, so many, like just very kind of existential um, questions like that. It was actually a pretty incredible place to be. There was a lot of fear of the unknown, but at the same time, I just feel your awareness expanding, Aquarius. This is a whole nether level of questioning when it comes to spirituality and life and just science and all of that. So that was really, really deep, Aquarius, really deep. And you had definite mixed feelings about it and some confusion because there's a lot you just don't know. We don't know. Um, but the second thing that I heard, and I'm not really sure what it's in regards to, is I heard, uh-oh, mom's home. <laughs> that was all. It was weird. Uh-oh, mom's home or mommy's home. It's like, what are you doing, boo? What are you doing? Like, I heard, uh-oh, we're busted. Uh-oh, mom's home. Like, so let's start drawing some cards, Aquarius. What can my Aquarius people expect for the month ahead? Okay, Aquarius, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the Hanging Man in reverse, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, we have the Four of Cups, the Devil in reverse, Six of Cups in reverse, Nine of Cups in reverse, and Nine of Pentacles. So, Aquarius, with the hangman in reverse here, with the eight of pentacles in reverse and the wheel of fortune in reverse, it's almost like you guys are tapping into this energy of believing that nothing is within your control, believing that you can't change your situation or you can't change your future, you can't change destiny, everything's out of your hands, the universe is too big, no wonder you're overwhelmed, Aquarius. And with the hangman in reverse, it's where you feel forcibly trapped in your situation, okay? Um, so a lot of you, you feel like trapped birds, now, could I have to do with, like I said, this is deep, deep um, pondering, deep soul searching that you're doing. And that it, it's a scary concept when you really think about all of the possibilities, okay? And that could very well make you feel like your skin's too tight. It can make you feel like your home is too small, that no area is big enough, okay? Like, it's almost like you feel a little claustrophobic, okay? 
And it doesn't have to be necessarily about all these questions that I felt in the meditative session. It could be trapped in anything. Trapped in a workplace. Trapped in a relationship. Trapped at home. Like, there's a lot going on in the world right now. And even though this is a timeless reading, you know, some people at this current time are quarantined at home. Or they're stuck at home for various reasons you know and that could be your energy too just feeling very stir crazy feeling like you can't really stop you you need to be moving constantly but it's it's not really that it's a productive energy it's kind of that it's a frantic not exactly frenzied but kind of a nervous energy Aquarius the other thing I'm getting with the devil in reverse the nine of cups in reverse is some kind of addiction. Now, for some of you, this could be that maybe you end up drinking a little heavily in the coming month. Sorry about the noise, guys. My my cat Maximus is playing with a toy. Um, So I actually see there might be some heavy drinking in the coming month for you, or there might be some heavy usage of some kind of substance or... Um, an overindulgence in something and not just an overindulgence but an over indulgence Aquarius so what I'm hearing is really watch that because I feel like that's going to aggravate your already overwhelmed feelings it's it might make you feel better for a moment but with that high comes that crash okay with with that I'm not trying to preach to you guys here but I'm just keeping it real you know, you're going to take something or do something that's going to bring you up high and then all of a sudden you're going to crash back down to earth and then it's going to hurt more than it did before. Now, obviously, I am not a medical professional, so if this is something in regards to um, some kind of uh, medicine or something you've been prescribed, you know, obviously go with the advice of your doctor. This is something separate. This is something that you know is not good for you, you know um, really is keeping you in this kind of dark spot, but you're kind of staying there anyway because misery loves company. Let's keep it real, my loves. Misery loves company. And sometimes, even in misery, it's something you know, so it's comfortable. The unknown can be scary. And Aquarius, that's an interesting energy for you because Aquarius people in general are very good at taking those leaps. They're very good at jumping towards opportunity and then, you know, really, they'd rather um, do it and then apologize later than think too much on it now. But this is a very different energy for you, Aquarius. So you're definitely not feeling in your power currently you're not feeling like your highest self this is this is some really rough conflicted energy um now like i said this every this is a general reading everyone's in their own spot everyone is in their own place in life on their journey so this could be about you know you trying to figure out your spirituality trying to find your path and feeling overwhelmed and trapped um it could be you feel tied down to something like i said trapped that is the big thing i'm hearing but i'm also i keep hearing uh oh mom's home so let's get some cards on that what does that mean clarify that please seven of cups lack of options or you feel like you had no choice but to do something Aquarius that's more what I'm getting actually you had no choice but to do something ten of swords in reverse no choice but to delay an ending three of pentacles no choice but to delay an ending and keep working on something. Um, okay, Aquarius. I'm going to say it. Three of Pentacles. So, if this is not about romance, there could be you and two other people involved. Or it could be your split between two people or split between two different paths, two journeys, two jobs. You know, but this is, oh, well, I, I keep hearing, uh-oh, mom's home. Uh-oh, busted, mom's home. So 
it could be you felt like this was the only way that it could play out, Aquarius, but it doesn't mean that you don't feel bad about it. Five of Cups, morning, feeling sad about something, feeling like things just kind of fell apart. But what you're not seeing, Aquarius, is see these, see these three cups that have spilled on the ground? You know, they're mourning what they've lost, but they don't see the two cups right behind them, what they still have. Yes, you lost. You lost some stuff. You lost some emotional waters. It hurts more than that, but realize what you still have, Aquarius. You still have those two cups behind you. And then we have the Eight of Cups in reverse, the Star in reverse. We have the Four of Wands in reverse, and we have the Knight of Cups. You got to be true to yourself, Aquarius. So with the Eight of Cups, this talks about not leaving. But the Star, that is your card, Aquarius. The Star card is your card. Okay, so when you see the Star card in the upright, that's you you know, in your power, headed down your right direction, being yourself, being who you are. When it comes in the reverse, like it just did, it's the, it's for me a delay in that, a delay in that or the opposite energy. So not being who you are, delaying an ending that you know needs to end. The foundation is cracked, babies. Okay. This foundation is not holding up anymore. It's not sturdy anymore. You might have seen it as sturdy at one point, but it's not anymore. It has been damaged. And the only way to repair cracked cement is to fill in the gap. But then you always see the you always see the gap that you filled in or you break it all up and you pour more concrete. Okay? And honestly, in this case, Aquarius, I think you know what you need to do. You need to follow your heart. No matter what we're talking about here, Aquarius, your heart knows what you need to do. And so you're being encouraged to do it. Follow your heart. It, it will lead you in the right direction. Okay? You are the water barrier. Why did I say barrier? You are the water bearer. Okay? That is your title. You are the water bearer. Now, most Aquarius that I know tend to be very, very cerebral. They approach the world in a very logical, analytical way, but they also are full of life. They love taking chances. They love puzzles. They love the unpredictable, but they also have these huge, huge hearts, this huge emotional depth. It just doesn't come to the surface. It's literally within them. Okay. And basically I see you have, you have that, that emotional depth within you. You have those waters within you, but for some reason you're not, you're not looking at it. It's almost like your emotional waters take on different colors. And when you see that color, you know what direction you should go in. Okay, let's say that when your waters are blue, it's telling you that you are sad in a situation and you need to move on. And then if you see yellow, <laughs> I almost said yellow waters. <laughs> oh my gosh, Aquarius. So let's, let's pick a different color. Let's say green waters. <laughs> I don't know if that's any better. So let's say, you know, your emotional waters turn green and that tells you you're happy and peaceful and you should continue down this path. Your emotional waters are blue and are telling you to walk away. Trust that. Trust that. You, you, have, an, you have a really strong intuition, Aquarius. You have a strong intuition. The fool in reverse. It's time to end the journey. Okay? It's time to end something. You know the answer here, Aquarius. You know what you need to do here, okay? All right, any more messages for my Aquarius here? So one thing I am feeling, I actually, out of nowhere, feel so dehydrated and so thirsty. So Aquarius, um, just on a side note, you know, maybe replace some of these other substances that I was seeing. If there is a lot of heavy drinking going on in the coming month, maybe try to replace some of that with some water. I'm feeling that you guys really need to 
Um, try to stay hydrated in the coming month. And it's also about keeping up your health. By allowing yourself to become dehydrated, I actually see your health suffering a little bit. You might actually get a little sick. Then we have the Three of Swords. <laughs> it's not going to let me move on from this message. So we have the Three of Swords. And pretty much any tarot reader that you come across, we all hate to see that card, okay? Sorry, I had to get some water there. We hate seeing that card. Because it can talk about, you know, obviously going through some kind of um, emotional challenges, some pain, that kind of stuff. But, you know, about 80% of the time when we see that card, it immediately makes us think of third party situation. Now, none of us like to say that because it's so specific and it can, it has such negative um, kind of attachments to it generally because of the swords it's not like it's an open relationship or something that's been talked about you know something on the healthier side the swords are piercing the heart so this this talks about three people that are hurting each other or essentially a connection with three people that is being basically poisoned being damaged and with that being right next to the two of wands and the chariot in reverse and the five of wands it's saying so the chair okay let's break it down here so the pathway you know the two paths two of wands they are trying to decide between then we have the chariot in reverse which talks about having a basically a flat tire in your journey being completely stuck can't move Triple A's just not coming to where you're at, okay? You forgot that spare tire, and you're just stuck on the side of the road, okay? Not sure how you're going to proceed. And then we have the Five of Wands, which basically, when it's in the upright, talks about conflict. In the reverse there, it can talk about peace or wanting to avoid conflict. So let's just read it there. So... Basically, a connection that is not currently being dealt with in a healthy way might be hidden. But either way, people are getting hurt in this scenario in some kind of fashion. And, you know, there's a path that you need to choose between, but you're stuck because you want to avoid conflict. And Aquarius, as we know, this does not have to be your energy. Energy's fluid roles can be reversed. So this could be someone you're involved with. And if this is not about romance at all, this could easily be any kind of situation where you are stuck between two paths, okay? Third party situation doesn't, doesn't always mean three people. Look at it this way. You are, let's say you are a dentist, okay? And you, you went to school to be a dentist and you're a really good one, but you realized that your passion is music. And so you want to become a musician. Okay. But it would require that you get rid of a job that you, that you, um, you spent years and years and years going to school in that you put in so much hard work in, um, that you are really talented and brings you financial stability, but it's just not fulfilling you. It's not you know, filling that hole within you. It's not uh, making you feel passionate about life, okay? But then the other direction, you're going to have that hole filled. You're going to feel, you know, fulfilled. You're going to feel passionate, happy. You're going to be going after your dreams. But there's the consequences of having those times where y your finances are unsure, unpredictable. Things aren't as comfortable or easy. So right there, you and those two paths is a third party situation. So just to put that into perspective, all it is is three parties, items, situations or places that essentially are in conflict with each other or are involved in this situation. All right, Aquarius, we're going to pull some cards from the Romance Angel Oracle deck here. What can my Aquarius people expect in regards to romance for the month ahead? Uh, 
Okay, Aquarius. So we have children in reverse very soon in reverse free yourself romantic feelings and getting to know each other so with the children in reverse and the very soon in reverse next to free yourself what I'm getting is that it is time to let go of expectations from your youth okay um, when you were young and you might still be young but you might have had certain expectations of what your life was going to be like and what direction you were going to go in, okay? Especially in romantic relationships. What you wanted. And you're actually being guided to move away from that. To really, you know, expand your perspective. And this might be, you know, a lot of that energy that I was picking up in the meditative session. You know, that really evaluating everything. Trying to figure out what everything means. What is life? You know, what goes on after life? Life is short. Got to figure this out. A lot of you in your youth might have felt very unhurried. You felt like you had all the time in the world, so you weren't concerned. And that is a good attitude. It it really, really is. But there was something about it that actually made you drag your feet in situations where you should have took the bull by the horns, where you should have jumped at the opportunity. And once again, that's not quite aligned with the Aquarius energy because Aquarius, like I said, are generally... Although very cerebral and analytical, they tend to, you know, really live for adventure, live for excitement. They tend to go after exactly what they want to do, okay? I wouldn't even say impulsive. There probably is impulse in there, but I, I truly... Sorry about that, guys. The weirdest thing just happened. My camera actually overheated and turned off the recording. It was the weirdest thing. So as I was saying, you know, Aquarius tend to not be, you know, impulsive per se. It's more that they just love adventure. They love going after what they want. They love, they love to live, okay? And essentially I feel like you're being guided to go back to that energy free yourself from anything that makes you feel trapped that keeps you from living your life because that is why you're having this crisis is you feel trapped and it's basically seeing with the romantic feelings and getting to know each other it wants you to approach romance and your romantic connections in a very light-hearted and free way with no tags no labels and by doing that by giving yourself that freedom you're actually gonna find that you feel more aligned within yourself you feel less overwhelmed you have less of these feelings of crisis where you were almost like the ground is falling out from underneath of you is the other thing I was feeling almost like literally like vertigo okay so that's pretty much what I'm seeing honeybees that if you can free yourself from whatever's trapping you you can expect in the romantic field to have a lot of light-hearted fun energy and I think that's what you need all right, Aquarius, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. If you got to the end of this reading, please leave an Aquarius emoji in the comments so I know where all my Aquarius are at. And as usual, please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like so. I love you guys so much. Take care.